And the A-Final is underway. A-Final in lane one, Episcopal Academy. Lane two, Los Gatos. Lane three, Belmont Hill. Lane four, Deerfield. Lane five, Marina Aquatics Junior. Lane six, Saratoga. A little bit of a uh, transmission problem here from the uh, first launch, but we can still see what's going on. And we see lane four, Deerfield and Belmont Hill going at it. Looking at Saratoga right here, and next to them is Marine Aquatic in the uh, maroon and blue. But Saratoga right here in the dark blue. Those two are trailing the rest of the field, looking over Episcopal in lane one, and closer to us is Los Gatos in the white. And then up to our leaders, who are just a half, three quarters of the boat ahead, Belmont Hill and Deerfield. At the 500 meter mark, it's Deerfield in first place with Belmont Hill in second. And right on their tail is Marine Aquatic, Saratoga, Episcopal off the pace just a little bit, but Los Gatos is right with them as they move through the 500. In the A final of the men's four here in Tennessee. So it looks like Saratoga is falling off the pace a little bit. Marine Aquatic ahead of them a little bit. Episcopal on the far side, maybe fourth third right now would be Los Gatos and it is a battle for first place between Deerfield and Belmont Hill as we get to the thousand meter mark it is Belmont Hill and Deerfield Excitement continues to build here at Melton Lake in Oak Ridge, Tennessee, as these youth national championships continue towards the finish line. Here is the championship final for the men's four. The C finals and the B finals have been just incredible racing. Here we are in the A finals, and let's see how they shape up. It's Belmont Hill in the lead right now, Deerfield in second. Third belongs to Los Gatos right now. Marina Aquatic in fourth. Fifth belongs to Episcopal Academy in sixth to Saratoga. But as we've seen in the previous races, sometimes these boats bide their time. Don't want to reveal too much of your hand too soon in your strategy. Don't want to burn your energy too fast either. So we'll have to see a relatively tight pack for these men's fours, for the men's Championship for fours here at the Youth Nationals. Los Gatos has taken the lead over Belmont Hill. Belmont Hill still, uh, excuse me, Belmont Hill has taken the lead over Deerfield now. Los Gatos remaining in third, but beginning to uh, push themselves forward. And meanwhile, a fight for fourth between Episcopal Academy in lane one and Marina Aquatic in lane five. And Saratoga not out of it either. They're beginning to move forward along with the other boats. But it does look like it's Belmont Hill trying to assert themselves in lane three for the lead, trying to claw their way forward past Deerfield. Deerfield remaining right in there, though, with them. But still a lot of water between here and the finish line in this A final, the championship final for the men's four, the 2012 Youth National Championship Regatta. Belmont Hill in the lead, Deerfield right behind, Los Gatos in third, perhaps just vulturing that spot, but we'll have to see. As the meters begin to count down towards the end of this 2,000 meter race, these crews will begin to pour it all out. Fourth, still a fight between Episcopal Academy and Marina Aquatic Juniors, Sarasota, uh, Saratoga, excuse me, still trying to remain in the fight, but they're in sixth place right now. But really, Belmont Hill, despite their efforts, are not drawing away from Deerfield, nor are they drawing away from Los Gatos, but we'll have to see, because now they are inside of 500 meters to go. 
towards the finish line. Here's the championship on the line. Who will get the gold medal in the men's four? Belmont Hills fighting to stay in first. Here comes Deerfield beginning to kick it in, beginning to creep up. On the boat from Belmont Hill, Los Gatos sitting in third. Will they be able to catch up? Beginning to challenge for third is Marina Aquatic in lane five. And Episcopal Academy beginning to try to do it as well. We'll see what will happen at the finish line. Belmont Hill hanging on to that lead just barely. Los Gatos next to them there, you can see their closest competitor, which is Deerfield, trying furiously to get into that lead that Belmont has established over that last uh, 750 meters or so, and it looks like they're starting to do it. Deerfield is pushing into that lead of Belmont Hill. Belmont Hill may have expended themselves a little too hard in that third 500, and now Deerfield is starting to go through them. This is gonna be a great finish. Belmont Hill cranking it up. Deerfield cranking it up. They only have about 10 strokes to go to the line, and it looks like Deerfield is going to be, oh my goodness. It is Deerfield over Belmont Hill, but who's gonna get the bronze? And it is Los Gatos. Marine Aquatic in fourth, Episcopal Academy in fifth, and sixth place, Saratoga. What a great race all the way down the course in the men's four final here in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. What a great race. Some happy boys out there celebrating their win, cooling their heads a little bit. Good race for the men's four. Next up we have the uh, lightweight women's four. Final C and that race will be starting in just a moment. <laughs> 